Hi, I'm Julia Whalen. I'm an author, an actor, and an audiobook narrator. And more importantly, I'm a Valley resident. Uh, I do my work from home, my booth, in my office, and I'm currently uh, profiled in the new issue of Palm Springs Life magazine, if you want to know more about it. And I will be at the Rancho Mirage Writers Festival. Uh, so if you're there, come say hi. I figured I would read a little bit for you and show you what my job is like and also tell you about a new book that's coming out that I think is brilliant. It's by an author you may know, Kristen Hanna, and it's called The Women. I recorded her last two novels, The Great Alone and The Four Winds, and just like that novel, Kristen gives us a peek into a part of history that had been forgotten, at least I certainly didn't know about it, and in this case it's about female nurses in Vietnam. So. The setup to this scene is that our heroine, Frankie McGrath, goes back to her parents' house in Coronado Island, actually, and lets them know that she has made a decision. At home, Frankie found her parents in the living room, dressed for dinner. Dad stood at the bar, flipping through the newspaper, while Mom sat in her favorite chair by the fire, smoking a cigarette and reading a Graham Greene novel. The house was decked out for the holidays with an extravagance of lights and a ten-foot tree. At Frankie's entrance, Dad closed the newspaper and smiled at her. Hey, you peanut. I have news, Frankie said, practically bursting with excitement. You've met a boy you like, Mom said, putting down her novel. Finally. Frankie came to a stop. A boy? No. Mom frowned. Francis, most of the girls your age. Mom, Frankie said impatiently, I'm trying to tell you something important. She took a deep breath and said... I joined the Army Nurse Corps, the ANC. I'm now 2nd Lieutenant McGrath. I'm going to Vietnam. I'll get to be with Finley for part of his tour. That's hardly funny, Francis, Mom said. Dad stared at Frankie, unsmiling. I don't think she's joking, Bet. You joined the Army? Mom said slowly, as if the words were a foreign language that she was trying to sound out. I'd salute, but I don't know how. Basic training starts in three weeks. Fort Sam Houston. Frankie frowned. Why weren't they congratulating her? McGrath's and Alexander's always serve, she said. You were thrilled when Finley volunteered. The men serve, Dad said sharply. The men. He paused. Wait, did you say the army? We're a Navy family, always have been. Coronado is a Navy island. I know, but the Navy wouldn't let me go to Vietnam until I'd served two years in a hospital stateside, she said. Same with the Air Force. They said I didn't have enough experience. Only the Army would let me go right after basic training. Sweet Jesus, Frankie, Dad said, running a hand through his hair. There's a reason for rules like that. Take it back. Unvolunteer. Mom looked at Dad. She got to her feet slowly. Good Lord, what will we tell people? What will you... Frankie didn't understand. They were acting as if they were ashamed of her, but that made no sense. How many times have you gathered us in your office to talk about this family's record of service, Dad? You told us how much you wanted to fight for your country. I thought... He's a man, Mom said. And it was Hitler and Europe, not some country no one can find on a map. It is not patriotic to do something stupid, Francis. Tears filled her eyes. She dashed them away impatiently. Well, Connor, she's what you taught her to be. A believer. A patriot. At Mom's rebuke, Dad left the room, trailing smoke behind him. So that didn't go as planned. <laughs> uh, the book is out February 7th. Again, Kristen Hanna, The Women, and uh, see you at the festival.